guys, and welcome back to another episode of Ability to Learn. My name is Emily, and you are hanging out with me today on this Friday, October 9th, 2020. Um, I can't believe we're already like a little bit into October. It's crazy. Time just flies. Um, but also, if you hear a little bit of an echo, it's because I am recording in the bathroom here at the day program while the guys are playing with you over Zoom. They're playing Wii, so it's getting a little noisy out there, so I'm just going to hide in here and do my work. All right, let's dive into today's observances. Today's observances. Today is Leif Erikson Day. This day is celebrated each year on October 9th. He is a Norse explorer who led the Europeans, and they were thought to have been the first to set foot in North America. And this date was chosen because the ship Restoration came from Stavanger, Norway, and it arrived in New York Harbor on October 9, 1825, and it began a wave of new immigration from Norway to America. Leif Erikson Day became more popular after a famous SpongeBob episode coined the phrase, Happy Leif Erikson Day! Today is Moldy Cheese Day. Cheeses such as Maytag Blue, Roquefort, Brie, Blue, Camembert, Gorgonzola, and Stilton are a few of the moldy reasons cheese lovers celebrate on this day. Gorgonzola cheese is made with three different kinds of mold spores. Blech. It is like a milder blue cheese, but Gorgonzola is creamier and earthier. Toss it with some pasta and mushrooms for an outstanding meal. Also, it complements any cheese plate. Add some apples and maybe something tart like dried cranberries. World Post Day. Today we celebrate postal systems that have been in place for many centuries. Way back when, people would send letters to each other and they were delivered by people on foot or on horseback. From the 1600s, the first national postage systems began springing up in many countries. They were more organized and many people could easily send them. However, as more and more people figured out this, it became slower and more complicated. But slowly, countries agreed to exchange mail internationally. In 1948, the UPU became an agency of the United Nations. World Post Day happens every year on October 9th, which is the anniversary of the Universal Postal Union, or the UPU, which started in 1874 in Switzerland. So send somebody a letter today to celebrate World Postal Day. Today in history. Yikes, that's frightening. On this day in 1781, there was a surrender at Yorktown. The British troops surrendered in Yorktown, Virginia. After they had lost a significant battle on the American continent, the British and the American governments began to negotiate a final settlement, which concluded with the Treaty of Paris in 1783. Under this agreement, Britain recognized the United States as an independent country during the American Revolutionary War. On this day in 1930, the first transcontinental flight was made by a woman, and her name was Laura Ingalls. Her best-known flights were in the 1930s, and she earned a Harmon Trophy. She flew a Lockheed Air Express plane from Mexico to Chile. This was considered the first flight over the Andes Mountains by an American woman, the first solo flight around South America in a land plane, and the first flight by a woman from North America to South America. And she set a woman's distance record of 17,000 miles. On this day in 1986, The Phantom of the Opera premiered in London. It had its world premiere on October 9, 1996 at Her Majesty's Theatre in London. This best-selling Broadway play was based on the novel Les Fantômes de l'Opera by Gaston Leroux. Phantom has music produced by Andrew Lloyd Webber. 
And this musical has received many awards on Broadway and has amassed more than $6 billion in revenue. All right, friends, let's see where we're going today on Greetings From. Let's wrap up our Greetings From this week. This week we have traveled to Nepal and we learned about their main religion, Hinduism. We have learned that they have the highest mountain range in the world with the Himalayas. We also learned about some of their most famous dances, traditions, music, and fashion. Liz taught you about Nepal's unique flag shape, which looks like two triangles on top of each other. The national bird of Nepal is the Himalayan monal. Their national animal is the cow, and their national color is a deep red crimson. What is something that you learned about Nepal that you didn't know before this week? Take a minute now to think it over, and be sure to let us know in the comment section. Well, like I said, that's a wrap on Nepal. Time to pack up our bags and spin the globe to see where we land for next week's Place of the Week. Animal Studies For today's Animal Studies, we're going to look at the gharial. The gharial is known as the fish-eating crocodile, and it is the longest of all living crocodiles. They have a distinct snout shaped like a gara, which is a kind of earthenware pot, hence the name gharial. Because of its long and slim nose, it is easy for them to catch fish. It is the most thoroughly aquatic crocodile and leaves the water only for basking and building nests on moist sand banks. Loss of habitat because of sand mining and conversion to agriculture, depletion of fish resources, and detrimental fishing methods continue to threaten this population. As of 2007, the gharial has been listed as a critically endangered species on the ICUN Red List. Vegetation Station Today's Vegetation Station, we're going to look at the Sisu tree. The Sisu tree is known as the North Indian Rosewood. The Sisu is a fast-growing, hardy, deciduous rosewood tree native to the Indian subcontinent and southern Iran. Sisu is a large, crooked tree with long, leathery leaves and whitish or pink flowers. This tree grows natively at the foothills of the Himalayan mountains. Notable figures born on this day. Happy birthday to world famous singer John Lennon, born on this day in 1940. Lennon is known for being the co-lead singer of the famous band, The Beatles. Do you know who he was co-singers with? If you said Paul McCartney, you'd be right. But did you know that John Lennon has been inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame twice? Let's Sing Imagine by John Lennon, featuring me and JR.
Daily Dose of Art. Today's art piece is entitled Carry a Compass by Russian artist Nicholas Rorich. Painted in 1936, this piece is a small depiction of the rocky and snowy terrain that is the Himalayan mountains, with a man featured riding horseback at the very bottom right side. What do you like about this painting? The Daily Weather Ah, we're starting to cool off and head into the autumn season, with today's forecast of being sunny with a high of 78 and a low of 62. Weather in the 70s makes me want to grab a baggy sweatshirt and just stay inside by the fire, even though it's still pretty hot. I like to think that it's cooling off from the 110 degree weather we had last week. That is the weather. Thank you and have a nice day. It's time to reveal our word of the day. Today's word of the day is range. We often think about this when we say a mountain range. It's a noun, and it means the area of variation between upper and lower limits on a particular scale. Let's learn something new in today's Did You Know segment. Today's fact of the day is, did you know that the Himalayas cover over 75% of Nepal's land? Time to paint the Himalayas with me.
That's a wrap on today's Friday show. I hope you learned something new or you just had fun hanging out with me. Thanks again for always joining us here on The Daily Show. For now, I hope you have a safe and wonderful weekend and we'll see you right back here on Monday. Take care and don't forget to follow us on YouTube and check in with us every day live during our Zoom classes. All right, we can't wait to see you live and in person. Bye for now.